evening the subject name is power plant engineering the subject code is 8792 i am dr elilan professor department of mechanical engineering rohini college of engineering and technology today we are going to discuss about layout of hydroelectric power plant the typical layout of hydroelectric power plant and its basic components the basic components dam gate pressure tunnel surge tank pen stock turbine generator first we should explain about the dams dams are structures built over rivers to stop the water flow and form a reservoir the reservoir stores the water flowing down the river this was diverted to turbines in power station dams are also used for controlling floods and irrigation the dams should be water tight and should be able to withstand the pressure exerted by the water on it there are different types of dams such as arc dams gravity dams and waterless dams the height of water in the dam is called head raise spillway a spillway as the name suggests could be called as a way for spilling of water from dams it is used to provide for the release of flood water from a dam it is used to prevent overtopping of the dams which could result in damage or failure of dams spillways could be controlled <clears throat> type or uncontrolled type the uncontrolled type start releasing water upon water rising above a particular level pen stock and tunnel pen stocks are pipes which carry water from the reservoir to the turbines inside power station they are usually made of steel and are equipped with gate system water under high pressure flows through the pen stock surge tank surge tanks are tanks connected to the water conductor system it serves the purpose of reducing water hammering in pipes which can causes damage to pipes power station power stations contains a turbine coupled to generator the water brought to the power stations rotates the vanes of the turbine producing torque and rotation of turbine shaft the rotational torque is transferred to the generator and is converted into electrical electricity the used to water is released through the tail race the difference between the head race and the tail race is called cross head and by subtracting the frictional losses we get the net head available to the turbine for generation of electricity advantages no fuel is required as potential energy is stored water is used for electricity electricity generation neat and clean source of energy very small running charges as water is available free of cost comparatively less maintenance is required and has longer life serves other purpose to such as irrigation disadvantages very high capital cost due to construction of dam 
high cost of transmissions as hydro plants are located in hilly areas which are quite away from the consumers these all are the references thank you